Good afternoon. <clears throat> Eric Casebolt tendered his resignation as a police officer with the city of McKinney effective yesterday. He did so with a heavy heart, knowing that his resignation was not only in his best interest, but also that of his fellow police officers and the city of McKinney, Texas. It is his hope that his resignation will facilitate the cooperative relationship between the citizens and the police officers of the city of McKinney. Eric is unable to be here today, but I know he would like to address the media at some point in the near future. I ask that you respect his privacy as he and his family deal with the difficult emotional issues that have risen in this case. I'm here today as his legal representative <clears throat> to give you Eric Casebolt's perspective. The video that everyone has seen only depicts a small part of Eric's actions that day at the Craig Ranch neighborhood in McKinney, Texas. Eric was assigned the evening shift that day and began working at 6 p.m. His first call was a suicide at an apartment complex where an African-American male had shot himself in the head at a poolside in the apartment complex. The, the male had done so in the presence of his family, his children, other parents, and children. Eric assisted the officers, the McKinney officers who responded. He assisted them in securing the scene, photographing the body, and collecting statements. Eric also spent a considerable amount of time consoling the man's grieving widow. Immediately thereafter, he responded to a second suicide call. This one was involving a teenage girl who was threatening to commit suicide by jumping off of her parents' roof. Eric assisted by calming the girl enough so that she could be transported safely to the hospital. Eric's compassion during these two incidences are a testament to his character and all of the officers who work for the McKinney Police Department. The, natures of, and the nature of these two suicide calls took an emotional toll on Eric Casebolt. They serve as a reminder that while police work is often dangerous, it is fraught with emotions and family tragedy. When the Craig Ranch neighborhood incident came over the radio, Eric Casebolt was reluctant to respond to a simple trespassing call given what he had just been through. He was content to let the other officers handle this call. However, once the call was escalated and responded to possible violent assaults, he felt and believed it was his duty to respond. Eric's actions at the Craig Ranch neighborhood were only an attempt to investigate the reports of violent assaults. His purpose was to interview as many persons as possible to, deter to determine who was involved. He believed that those who fled were possible suspects. He was not targeting minorities. In fact, he also detained a white female who you do not see on the video. His efforts to gather information was hampered by some teenagers 